guys, so I am here with my November favorites. Um, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I love first, and then I only have a few things at the end of stuff that I think is complete crap. So <laughs> let's just get into the video. Um, let's start with hair. So my absolute favorite that I'm loving is this Garnier Fertis Color Shield. And I dyed my hair over two months ago, and it's still looking really good. Um, it's just a simple brown, but it's kept it brown. Usually, if I use anything else, it will fade the color really quickly, so I love this. And I actually used to use this as well when I um, had red hair, and it helps keep the color. So if you have red hair, try this out. And don't use hot water, because hot water is the devil for red hair. Uh, in here, but especially red hair. So, I mean... Hot water is not good for your body, for your skin. Um, you should take a hot shower and then cool down with cool water so that your pores close and keep the moisture in as well as keep the hair color in, so in case you didn't know. So the other thing that I like, um, sometimes if this conditioner is not enough, I use a shampoo conditioner. I can't find the shampoo bottle. I think my mom threw it away. Um, but when this is not enough and I just need a little more conditioning but not like a mask, I use this and this is by Organics and this is the macadamia oil conditioner. So I just leave this in for a few minutes. Um, I use this first and then this and leave it in for a few minutes and then it gives me more conditioning. And then once a week, sometimes twice a week, I will do a deep conditioning with this also Organics and this is the Brazilian Keratine mask and I love this stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to repurchase all of this. And then when you need like a very deep conditioning, like I had a lot of trouble with my hair when I was dyeing it back and forth and I kept it red and then like pink and then it was just crazy. Um, I bought this and this is Matrix Biolodge and this is an intense um, mask and it's for very dry hair. So if that's you, I would suggest you purchase this. Um, highly recommend that. Um, the last thing for hair is this Suave Professionals and this is dry shampoo. And this is very inexpensive. I think it was only about $2. So if you've been wanting to try dry shampoo, this is really great to go with. Um, just, you know, if it doesn't work out for you, some people don't like dry shampoo, some people do. Um, I don't have too oily hairs. Um, hairs. My hairs. Um, <laughs> but this works for me, and it's very inexpensive. So I would suggest if you want to try it out, about 2 bucks or so. Um, next is going to be my St. Ives Fresh Skin, and this is the Apricot Scrub. And I know some people are like, <gasps> I know. But it works for me. And I use this on my face and my body. Yes, on my face. Once a week only. Obviously, if you use something that's abrasive, you're going to hurt your skin. You know, you're going to... So, once a week is what I do, personally. Just for me. Works. Doesn't break me out. Helps uh, make my skin skin smooth, smooth skin, yeah, smooth skin, yes, 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 okay, so it works for me, um, I do have sensitive skin, and it still works for me, so I mean, try it out if you want to, um, just, you know, you should know your own skin, if it works, it works, and it works for me, and this is only about three bucks, and it's a big, gigantic, 10 ounce tub, so I love that, um, that's it for hair, Next is going to be, oh, actually, this wasn't here, huh? Face, oh, face. Okay, so <laughs> the next thing that I have for face, I'm sorry, I'm like, there. I've been make, trying to make this video for, like, an hour now, and I keep getting interrupted, so I have, like, seven videos of me talking over and over and over. And over. Anyway, so the next skin thing is this Physician's Formula. And this is in the uh, Wrinkle Corrector and Form Affirming Moisturizer, and it's got 15 SPF. And I've been using this for a few months now, and I really love it. Um, recently, I switched over to the Burt's Bees because I got a Buzz Campaign Kit, and it was for intensive uh, hydrating skin, which I love. And um, I do have drier skin in the winter, so it's starting to get there. So I've been using that, but they didn't send me, they sent me the night cream, a treatment, or the face mask and a cleanser but they didn't send the day cream so I've been using that and this and I absolutely love it this is twenty dollars um, I'm definitely gonna go repurchase this I'm probably gonna go buy this today because I use it all the time and I I love it I'm also using I also have the one the blue one which is the like 
severe moisture or something like that and I actually combine both of them so I use one pump of this one pump of that and I do that just during the day and it keeps my face moisturized but not oily and I love it so if you're looking for a moisturizer recommend this and I can definitely recommend the Burt's Bees nighttime because I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it works really really good I think my skin is looking really really nice so that's that so that's all the skin care and hair care now over to the makeup so for makeup I have been loving this wet and wild palette and this one is sparkle till morning and I've used it quite a few times and I really really like this a lot so if you can pick it up go ahead I picked these up they were buy two get one free at Kmart so I bought a whole bunch of them love the next thing is actually what I'm wearing today I don't know how well you can tell but I'm actually wearing this and this is just called Profusion Halo the Palette and these colors are very very similar I don't know if you can see both of them to the Naked 1 and Naked 2 palette they don't compare in the um, pigment but if you wear a primer with it works really really well very buildable uh, buildable forgive me very buildable <laughs> very buildable yes and looks really really pretty um, on top of that I have my favorite new eyeliner and this is a liquid eyeliner in black and I've been using this for the last two weeks and I really really love it it's been the only thing I've been using because I've been testing it out so in love with this very inexpensive works really well um, it says no retouch needed and it really does last a long long time um, if you rub on it then it's gonna go away but even if you like sweat or if you get water on you or anything like that if you just let it completely dry on its own and not touch it it'll stay on there so highly recommend this my cat just walked through forgive her naughty little girl so lip wise what I'm wearing on my lips right now is this this is the clean colors in rose and this is a waterproof lip liner and looks like this and what's cool is the back where the color is this is actually a sharpener before I broke it nothing as work it out for me but that's that's the sharpener so I thought that was really cool and then on top of that I have this NYX color in pinky and that's what I'm wearing today and it looks like that it's just a doe foot applicator and this and this 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 and this is all gonna be in my giveaway that I am gonna be doing and so you need to subscribe and stay tuned uh, hopefully I'll have that video up tonight um, I have all the stuff ready to go that I'm going to show you, but this is just my personal stuff that I've been using, so I want to give it to you so you can try out and see how you like it. So if you would like to win this, please subscribe and stay tuned for the video. So all that. And then the next thing that I love, and I actually pair these two together as well, the same rose lip liner with this Jordana um, matte lipstick. And this one is in Lily Rose and freaking love this lipstick it is like my favorite lipstick in the whole world right now I am so like into nude lips and this works so this is my favorite 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 if I want a little bit of sheen these three work so good but just these two on its own is what I normally wear so if you want to win this subscribe and stay tuned probably I'm gonna try to have the video up tonight um, if not tomorrow for sure so the next thing that I have been loving is this Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and I am in the color 400 Early Tan. And I have been using the liquid one, and that was my absolute favorite. And I decided to, you know, venture out and do the whipped, and I love it. I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend this. Um, this is like the only stuff that doesn't make me break out. It has good coverage, and I love so this I would definitely repurchase um, once it's out next thing that I have is these two um, brushes and I got these at Sally Beauty and they're Sally Girl 
and they were one dollar let me tell you these come in so handy to just throw in your purse you can use it for anything I've used this for powder for blush for you know both of them powder blush I've applied this with them and they are so versatile and it's you know I love and they're so easy to wash and you just you know wash them it comes right off you let them dry and you throw them back in your purse and they just stay and these were only a dollar so if you have a Sally's beauty near you I highly recommend you picking these up throw them in your purse you're not going to be disappointed my cats going through again so the two products that I have that I absolutely hate for the month of November and for the rest of my life is this one and this is the American Beauty uh, Soft Glow Gentle Face Polisher and we did finish it but it sucked it sucked 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 hated it it was $14 and that's the only reason we finished it because it was $14 and by we I mean me and my mom we tried it out um, didn't work for her didn't work for me complete waste of $14 um, I got this at Kohl's may work for some of you did not work for me so I hate will not repurchase didn't even want to finish it but did because $14 is $14 and um, totally regret it waste of money waste of time waste of space this works 10 times better and it's only like three bucks that's just me though and the last thing that I absolutely hate I didn't even finish it is this wet and wild eye makeup remover and it's oil free and this really sucks it does nothing for my makeup it hurts the crap out of my eyes and yeah this is so going in the trash I wouldn't recommend this to anybody and then the last thing that I absolutely hate that I don't have with me I think I might have thrown away because I hated it that much was um, the Rimmel um, I don't remember which one it is but it's the liquid eyeliner and it's the one with the brush not the little point like this it's got a brush and I hate it I I'm really good with liquid liner I'm good with liquid liner, eyeliners, pencil eyeliners, gel eyeliners. I am a perfect person when it comes to eyeliners because I love eyeliner. That is my thing. For some reason, every time I try to use that Rimmel crap, it just gets all over the place. It's too liquidy. I can't close my eye. If I close my eye, if I move, if I breathe, if anything, if I look at it funny, it just smears everywhere. So I hate it don't recommend it and second of all it burned the crap out of my lids I don't know if it's just me I know a lot of people love it I do not I don't recommend it especially if you have sensitive eyes I have sensitive eyes but like that's crazy because it just like started burning and it just gets everywhere and it's just a mess and it was just too much money for it to be crap I mean seven like seven dollars is too much money this is only a few dollars and it's not crap so that is it guys um, stay tuned like I said for my giveaway I'm gonna be giving away once again this stuff um, I actually have way more than this this is just the stuff that I've been using but I have plenty of goodies um, so subscribe um, like this video so that you can share with your friends and I will be talking to you soon bye dolls say hi mom I love to make videos with her.